for revenge. <laughs> Don't you think, guys? Hmm. Clubber, you say that after every class. True, but today I had a thrilliant brain burst of creativity and came up with what will totally be remembered as the greatest fashion accessory of the century. The Clover Infinity Loop Earrings. <laughs> huh? Wow, they look great, but um, isn't the first rule of fashion to design clothes that are safe to wear? Safe? What do you mean? Oh, oh, ah! oh. <gasps> See, um, this is why it's so awesome that we're taking fashion design together. We can critique each other's projects. Like those jeans you designed, Sam. What, you don't like them? No, I love them. They're way styling, but they have so many secret pockets, it sort of screams, hello, I'm a spy in spy jeans. Uh, uh, I need to hit the little spy's room and take care of this hair catastrophe. No admittance, ladies. This is a private restroom. Please take your business elsewhere. Private? Since when? Yeah, and why do you look so familiar? Because, losers three, he's Duke Gatlin. He's super famous for playing a bodyguard in tons of movies. And now, since I'm famous, he's my bodyguard. Wait, you're popular. We got it the first hundred times you told us. Now if your super cute bodyguard is done being a big, lean bully machine, let me through so I can fix my do. you to understand the pressures of popularity. <gasps> hey. Uh, hey! Every time I think Mandy can't get any worse, she just gets better at it. <gasps> ah, hello, ladies. I trust I wasn't interrupting anything important. Come on, Jer. That's never bothered you before. Yes, that is true, but it's polite to ask once in a while. <laughs> Jerry, did you have the sardine burrito for lunch again? I wanted it to be a surprise, but Oinky hasn't learned the art of stealth quite yet. Oinky! You come back to me! Dreams do come true! <laughs> now there's a sentimental moment for the Whoop photo album. Oh, did you miss me? Did you have enough mud to play in? Do you need your little hoofies buffed? Alex really likes that pig. Oh, guys! Didn't you miss Oinky? Kiss him! Oh, Alex! <laughs> Stop! Oinky has to live with us, doesn't he? Nobody else could give him a better home than the three of us. Uh, uh, I'm not so sure that's a good idea, Alex. He probably wouldn't like our place. You know, not enough mud. But, 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 but he can find troubles for us. He's cleaner than a dog and he's so cute. <laughs> Sounds like a spot of trouble. Best check it out. Whoop is receiving reports of a menacing being sighted on the beaches of Hawaii. <gasps> I never say no to a trip to Hawaii. Right, girls? Right. <laughs> right, present and ready for spyness. Let's go to Alaska. Hawaii. There, too. Here are your gadgets for today. The Brewer Bracelet, which blasts a sub-zero energy that can shatter metal. The Unmuffle Earmuffs, which can hear up to a 100,000 hertz range. Those may not blend in so well in Hawaii. But these will. The solar roller shades, a pair of sunglasses that store up the sun's energy and blast a destructive heat ray when fully charged. Hope they come with a fireproof case. But of course. And finally, the beach ball booties, for when you need some extra bounce on the beach. Oh, and I almost forgot, your floating hands-free capabilities compounders. Good luck, ladies. I'll take care of Oinky until you return. <laughs> mm, love it. Don't forget we're not on vacation, Clover. As tempting as it is, we need to keep an eye out for trouble. Hey! Clover, Alex, check this out. They're tracks something heavy by the looks of it, and they definitely don't match any of the local vehicles. 
I think we're dealing with some kind of robot. But what would a robot be doing in Hawaii? Ah! So step aside, ladies, or I'll make you step aside. You know I'm missing a great luau and some hunky ukulele music because of you. <laughs> Lucky for you, I gotta go. <laughs> to kidnap that guy, and he's getting away! That's what he thinks! Ding, ding! Time for round two! We have to catch up or we'll lose him! The beach ball booties! <laughs> to fight and attack formation, girls! Come and get him! Is that all you've got? Huh? Never give up and never surrender. Let's bring it, girls! Ouch! <laughs> well, I knocked a piece off of him. Nah, nah, you can't get me. Now here's a classic from page one of the Bully Handbook. Eat sand! <laughs> Time to go! I hope the solar roller shades are all charged up! Robot, it is a full on nasty bully bot. Better get this to Jer and the big brains at Whoop and find out where this thing came from. Uh. I'm not Phew. Fighting that metal menace was a workout. Lucky I have a free period next so I can relax in the penthouse. <gasps> ah, look at him. What a loyal little oinker oink he is. Aren't you oink? oink, oink. Oh. I have to take a picture of this. Professor Oinky visits campus. No pictures, no paparazzi. Hey! <laughs> That means you, Shorty. Great job, Duke. But could you be a little more insulting huh? next time? Shorty is accurate, but barely nasty. Right, Alex? Huh? Are we clear for cafeteria? Check. How long is the latte line? Bye bye Forget about Mandy, Alex. She just got up on the wrong side of the broom today. Thanks, Clover. I have to head to class, so can you drop Winky off at the penthouse? <gasps> oh. <laughs> uh... Okay, Alex, um, but he'd better stay away from my expensive facial mud cream. Mandy, you are the last one I have been seeking. Huh? Of course you have! Everyone wants to hang with Mandy, even the losers that play hacky sack in the quad. But I don't have time for this. I have an appointment for a very expensive pedicure. Listen, buddy, nobody and no thing enters Mandy's personal space without her approval. Got it? You know what? I'd like to do that line again. I, I, I didn't really feel that one. Me neither. Hey! That was my exclusive celebrity bodyguard! He better not have a scratch on him! 
him! Someone's screaming, but it's too far away to tell where they are. Wait! That sounds like Mandy, and she's in trouble! Ugh! Why does it have to be Mandy? Alex, Sam, we've got trouble. I'm sending you the coordinates on campus now. She was right here. My earmuff said so. Look, there's her designer purse. She'd never go anywhere without it. Well, there was no one around that saw anything. A witness would be helpful. We've got the only witness we need. The returning cutest member of our super spy team, Oinky! Oink, oink. Oink, oink, oink. Oink, oink. Oh, really? That's incredible. What did he say? I have no idea. <sighs> Alex, Clover, get down here. I found something. It's the same tracks that we found in Hawaii. The bully bot was here. So it took Mandy? But why? Good afternoon, <gasps> ladies. Jerry, the robot was here, and it took Mandy. Then we haven't time to waste. I have the analysis of the robot armor fragment you sent me. It appears it was built from pieces of rides at the Village of Thrills Amusement Land. It's located near Mount Fujiyama in Japan. Ooh! Ah, Thanks, Jer. Looks like our next stop is Japan. Indeed. Good luck, spies. since folks tilt a world around here. It's been deserted for years. No! But what about the, the... I'll always miss you, Cotton Candy. <laughs> ah! Okay, I'm not the only one that thinks that's a little weird, right? I think he's hiding his tracks. He could be anywhere. There's more than one way to track a robot. I can hear something. I think it might be Mandy and our kidnapped beach hunk. Over there! <gasps> it's coming from in here! That's the guy from the beach. But who are these other dudes? And what does Mandy have to do with this? Who's there? I've located the client. Stand down on the perimeter. I'm on the bad guys. Who are you talking to? Nobody. <laughs> Pretty convincing, right? That'll show the Academy for not recognizing my talent in the best bodyguard category. But first, I must deal with you Mandy Nappers. Us? But we did <laughs> All right, spies, let's do it right this time. Love that hands-free mode. Can you guys hear me? Loud and clear, Sam. What do we do now? I say we break out of here and teach that mean robot some manners. Or how about you just hang out there and be quiet while I finally get my revenge? Revenge? But the first rule of robotics is that it's impossible for robots to seek revenge, which means... Who are you? My name is Timmy! Timmy? The great, evil, scary robot is named Timmy? That's no robot! Correct! I am no robot, but merely a man in a robotic bully suit I built to get revenge on the bullies! Huh? I worked at this park years ago for one summer. It was beautiful then. I made the delicious village of thrills, thrizzle blueberry flavored slushies. I loved every second of my job until these jerks showed up and ruined everything. Now I can't even look at slushies without thinking of how puny and weak I was. But her. She was the meanest and worst of them all! Look at this picture of what she did right after these bullies left! <laughs> Big deal! First off, that is not me being mean! That is just me on a Tuesday! Second, what is with those lame outfits? Pay attention! 
you and these jerks were on a school trip that summer, and you did it to me every day! Oh, that's terrible! Mandy, have you ever not been a total Mandy? Timmy, we understand why you feel this way, but a robot bully suit isn't the answer. <laughs> Wrong! It's the only answer! Now it's time for the fun to really begin! Let the bully gauntlet begin! Bully gauntlet? Nothing about that sounds good! <laughs> 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 to end this not-so-fun house. <laughs> Gotta love those Clover Infinity Loop earrings. and slushies of this magnitude! to be a bodyguard in the movies. It's way safer. You can't quit! You're fired! Come back here so I can fire you! <laughs> 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 yeah. Great job, ladies. And don't fret, I'll take everyone back to Whoop headquarters and erase any memory of this. Is there any way you can make these guys forget to be boys? <gasps> and while we're at it, can we make Mandy forget to be Mandy? <laughs> I'm sorry, Spies. It just doesn't work that way. Now let's be off. <laughs> Why won't you let me drive you, Mandy? Give 
Mandy. Oinky's just our new bodyguard. equipped luxury yurt. Or a digital soccer ball. Or their own signature perfume. Oh, or a double-decker designer dog bed. Those would all be great suggestions, girls. If only my parents weren't the hardest people to shop for on the entire planet. When I say they already have one of everything, I mean it. And their 20th anniversary is tomorrow. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Don't worry, Sammy. We'll help you think of something. Woo! How about this personal Manny Petty robot? I mean, hello? If this doesn't scream totally unique gift, I don't know what does. I agree, Clover, which is exactly why I bought it for them last year. Whoa! What's with the noise vest? <laughs> Check it out! A stretch limo! Do you think it's a celeb in the midst of some kind of shopping emergency? <laughs> huh? Uh, something tells me it's even more important than that. Sam's right! It's not a celeb 911, it's a whoop 911! <laughs> Jerry, are you in here? Hello, spies. So lovely to see you again. Wish I could say the same, Jer. But you totally interrupted our quest to find the perfect gift for my parents' anniversary. Uh, sorry to hear that, but I assure you that I'm here on very important business. Namely, to inform you that several high-profile weddings around the globe have been attacked by unseen forces. What do you mean, attacked? See for yourself. This footage is from a wedding that took place in Italy just yesterday. Oh, no way! This is footage from the Kim Star Smashian wedding. Kim Star Smashian? Who's that? Duh! Only like the most famous socialite in the whole wide world. And the prettiest. Which isn't surprising, considering she cleans her face with diamond dust. Speaking of diamonds, check out that rock on her finger. It was discovered on the moon. Which, FYI, is where she met that astronaut hottie of hers. Can you say groom-tastic? <laughs> Whoa, that was seriously scary. Totes, from what I could see, that dream wedding looked more like a nightmare. Indeed. And Whoop has no indication of what may have caused the disturbance. So far, it's a complete mystery. I'll tell you what else is a mystery. Why Kim Star Smashian would wear such a strange wedding dress? I mean, I know fashion, and I've never seen anything like it before. It's way avant-garde. Interesting observation, Clover. According to global shipping records, the dress came from a nondescript warehouse in the Garment District in Paris. And what about the dresses worn by the other brides, Jer? They came from the warehouse as well. It appears we have our first clue, Spies. You're to go to France and check it out right away. Well, what are you waiting for? Whoop us already! I can't send you just yet. After all, I haven't given you your gadgets. Whoa! Yeah. Today, we have a pair of drill heel boots, an infrared x-ray contact lens, power tweezer squeezers, 
and fresh on the gadget scene, an escape from troubled bubble wand. Thanks, Jerry. You're quite welcome. I've also arranged for the Whoopa Twa to be available for you once you reach your destination. The Whoopa what? You'll see. Now, goodbye, girls, and good luck. <laughs> Maybe you should do something romantic for your parents' 20th, Sam. Like having their faces appear on the Eiffel Tower during the laser light show. Or you could get someone to paint their picture impressionist style and hang it in the Louvre. Uh, thanks, girls. But I got them that two years ago. <sighs> Sorry, Sammy, but the shop -a -thon will have to wait. Looks like we're almost at the warehouse. <laughs> Good. Let's get to the mission and off the Whooper Twa before my motion sickness gets any worse. where all the bride's dresses were shipped from. Sheesh! So much for putting out the welcome mat. Good thing we're spies. As in, we can let ourselves in. And the drill heel boots are just the thing to make that happen. <laughs> nice work, Alex. Is it me, or is this place not exactly rocking a fashion design vibe? You're right, Clover. It's rocking more of a dusty, smelly vibe. I don't get it. There has to be something we're missing. Well, if there is, the infrared X-ray contact lens will lead us to it. Whoa! No way! What is it, Clover? A hidden room behind that wall. Any chance there's a hidden button to go with it? Isn't there always? Back eye layers are, like, so predictable. Oops! Scratch that! That was, like, totally unexpected! just turned into freaky and weirdy. Tell me about it. I mean, since when are wedding gowns this high tech? No wonder Kim Star Smashian's dress looks so strange in the footage we saw. Girls, check it out. It's a list of all the wedding dresses and who ordered them. Oh, that's awesome, Sammy. Um, why is it awesome, exactly? Because if we can figure out where the next dress is going, we can get one step ahead of our villain, wrap this mission up, and get back to anniversary shopping. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> It says here that the last dress was shipped to the royal palace in England. The royal wedding? We've got to tell Jerry right away. <laughs> oh! Sounds like we tripped the alarm. We better get out of here. Uh, girls, do you recognize that sound from Professor Plunkett's class? Yeah, it sounds just like a sewing machine. Look out! I know just what to do to put this rude machine in its place. Hey! Woohoo! Way to go, Sam! But hopefully your cowgirl moves work on fabric steamers as well. This is nuts! The whole place is totally rigged to attack! Temperamental equipment. At least it's not a total bust. All of the wrinkles got steamed out of my uni. <sighs> Ladies, how is the mission going? Oh, terrible! We just got attacked by the meanest sewing machine ever. Bummer. On the bright side, we think we know where our baddie's gonna strike next. The royal palace in England. Oh dear. The royal wedding is about to take place there tomorrow. You girls are to go into cover and keep an eye on this high-profile event. Yeah! Jerry, you're a genius. I mean, what better place to meet a prince than a royal wedding? <laughs> and find a wedding crashing baddie, of course. <laughs> very good. I'll add your names to the guest list. Be vigilant, as England is very near and dear to my heart. Cheerio, ladies. 
We're going to England! And we're on the guest list! British anniversary gifts, here we come! Okay, girls, huddle up. We need to put together fantastic outfits that'll knock them dead at this royal wedding. Trust me, girls. They'll never know what hit them. <laughs> Royalty. Shouldn't they be wearing crowns or something? Hmm. Do you think maybe the bride and groom would give me one of their gifts? Because people are always getting two of something as a wedding present, right? I don't know, Sam. But right now, we need to keep our eyes peeled for our villain. We should spread out. Hmm. I agree. I'll head this way. We can keep in touch via earcom. Or the grooms. Oh, I'm with the <laughs> party. So nice to meet you. <gasps> oh, that cake looks so scrumptiousy. Oh, no one will mind if I just take a little taste. Mm. Oh, yummy. <laughs> for a Prince Charming, not a blue plate special. Guys, I'm not seeing anything strange over here. Me neither. Mm. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> it's the bride, which means the prince can't be far behind. Designs for in the warehouse. Clover's right. I'm gonna get a closer look with the infrared X ray contact lens. We're moving in to give you support. Ugh. Ugh. The things I do for whoop. OMG! This dress is majorly decked out with hidden hostile intentions. Hey! Who's getting all gropey? Watch the threads! All right, you three. I don't know what you're up to, but you're out of here! Hmm. I'm on the guest list, and going to the royal wedding is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I can't miss it! That's where you're wrong, princess. You're so gonna miss it. You've got to listen to us. We think that the bride may be in a lot of danger. You have to let us out of here immediately. Hmm. For being so soft and cuddly, you sure are crabby. Oh. Oh! No way! It can't be! W what are you talking about, Clover? Haven't you been paying attention to fashion design class, Sam? That's Wear a Van, the most famous wedding dress designer ever. So, what are you doing dressed as a guard, Miss Van? Is military chic making a comeback or something? Not exactly. Let's just say I'm here to cause some chaos. <laughs> Wait a sec. Are you the one who weaponized the bride's gown? I sure am. But why would you do such an evil thing? Because I'm tired of no one truly appreciating my work. Once these brides wear my creations, they shove them into a closet, never to be worn again. So I decided to make them the center of attention. Gowns that no one will ever forget. <laughs> okay, so I get the crazy bitter villain lady part, but do the dresses have to look so over the top? Sometimes less is more, if you know what I mean. You try loading electronic weaponry into a wedding gown and have it look good. It's not easy. We're a... Uh... Let us out of here. There's still time to stop this madness. <laughs> the madness has just huh? begun. So long, girls. I've got a wedding to crash. Than close.
Grover's fifth grade diary. Well, we better come up with something fast because the chips are down and we're about to be swimming with the fishes. Not to mention the fact that if I don't make it out of here, I'll miss my parents' anniversary completely. Those annoying girls managed to escape. Well, there's no escaping my dress! <laughs> this is my best dismantling of a wedding yet! <laughs> Uh-oh! Angry Gown headed our way! Then it's time to bubble up with the Escape from Trouble Bubble Wand! You want to play games? Fine, I can play too. How about a little kickball? Oh, so much for escaping from trouble. Oh, tell me about it. That was more nauseating than riding on the Wupatwa. <laughs> Come on, girls! If we want to save that bride, we gotta bust a move! Time to put that dress out of commission! With a little help from this cake! My agents will take it from here and take Weera Van to the Whoop Containment Facility where she clearly belongs. Thanks, Jerry. And as much as I'd love to stay and chat about your success in defeating fashion evil, 
I need to gather up the wedding party ASAP so the ceremony can be finished. After all, England is counting on me, and I can't let her down. Whoa. Now there's something you don't see every day. Uh, good thing. Seeing Jerry in action like that is way too freaky. <laughs> <laughs> I need a box so I can get this delivered to my parents before their 20th anniversary is over. <laughs> oh. oh, I think today is yesterday now, Sammy. Their anniversary is huh? done, though. I can't believe it. Where did the time go? The same place it always goes. And us hopping from continent to continent, chasing around twisted baddies. Ah! Now this is a lame gift anyway. So much for finding them something unique. Hello? Sam, darling, it's Mommy and Daddy. Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Happy anniversary. Listen, I'm sorry that I... Honey, we just wanted to thank you for the amazing anniversary gift. Mm -hmm. An amphibious bicycle tour of London? <laughs> oh. We have never had such a unique present. Uh, d did you say bicycle tour of London? You are so good to us, baby. We're about to wrap things up, but thank you again, and we'll see you soon. Mwah. Crazy! I wonder who got them that gift. Consider this my thank you for a mission well done, Jerry. Sweet! Sounds like Jerry really came through for you this time. I'll say, but there is no way I'm gonna blow it again next year, which is why I'm gonna start thinking about a 21st anniversary gift right now. <laughs> <sighs> It doesn't matter, because when I'm finished, no one will care about you or any celebrity. Except me, of course. Please, no. I'm late for set. <laughs> Mandy? Yeah, especially to us. What's all this stuff for, anyway? A talent scout is coming to Malayu, and I am gonna wall him with my signature walk. Uh, is she serious? Walking is her talent? Mm -hmm. huh? This I gotta see. You must be Mandy. Yes! Kill the I haven't seen a walk like that since I signed Helena Gorondova, world's greatest supermodel.
Unfortunately, you are no Helena. Goodbye. Wait! Don't go! G -g Can I have a do-over? Pretty please! <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea Oinky's a truffle pig. Girls, incoming whoopage! <laughs> if I don't make it, baby... You can't think that way, Johnny. I have a seriously infected hangnail, babe. And doctors aren't holding out much hope. I need you to know how much I love you. Love in a railway station? This is hands down my favorite Rat Smith movie of all time. Rat is a total cutie. Question is, why is Jerry watching it? He obviously has great taste. Actually, girls, the movie is for research purposes only. A missing persons report was filed on Rad Smith early this morning when he went out for a jog and never returned. Oh, no! Rad is in the middle of filming the fourth sequel in his totally awesome Sunset series. First, there was love in a railway station, then love in a gas station, followed by love in a subway station. I hazard to guess what the fourth installment is called. Love in a space station? Can you imagine Rad's signature hair fluff in zero gravity? Oh. I can honestly say no. You three are to go to Rad's mansion and look for clues. Well then, what are we huh? waiting for? Yeah, load us up, Jer, and we'll be on our way. You'll need the frequency modulator mood ring, buzzsaw wristwatch, icy fresh liquid nitrogen breath spray, ruby red lipstick laser, and diamond cutter diamond earrings. Ooh, these will look fab when we hang with... Uh... I mean, uh, save Rad Smith. I'm sure they will. Now, goodbye, spies, and good luck. <laughs> Rad is the number one celebrity in the world. It's not like we can just go up to the door and ring the bell. That's why we've got these. Cable TV installers? Great thinking, Sammy. Now, any idea on how to get through Rad's state-of-the-art security system and his bodyguard? Whoa! Hmm. Time for a little frequency modulation, courtesy of Jer's mood ring. <laughs> I can't believe how seriously Rad takes his movie memorabilia. This place is a total shrine. I can't believe Clover is trying on someone's ratty old headgear. Cowboy Love Story was not only one of my top five movies last year, it totally changed my life. I now realize how completely cute cowboys can be. The Golden Toast Award? Rad was the toast of Tinseltown three years running. Ew! Who keeps their nasty old bandages and frames them? <gasps> That's not just any bandage, Sammy. That's the bandage from the movie we saw playing in Jerry's office. It won Rad his first platinum orb. <gasps> okay, spies. Time to focus on finding some actual clues. <gasps> Quick, hide! Rad Smith? Who are you? And what are you doing in my closet? Um... We're, uh... <clears throat> from Newcom Cable, here to upgrade your satellite feed. Hmm. The question is, are you okay? You don't look so good. I am the leading romantic actor on Earth. Why wouldn't I be okay? Uh, for starters, your shoes are covered in mud and you're inside the house. Any idea where it came from? Uh, not to mention the fact that you were reported missing. How can I be missing when I'm standing right here? You three know a lot for cable TV installers. We're just Humongo fans. Think you could do your signature move for me? Signature move? Uh-oh. Um, we can explain. Um, we already filled him in. See ya!
exams. <gasps> I take it back! So not cute! Yeah, it wasn't too cute in the film either. We are not gonna cower and let some nuts and bolts get the best of us. Eat my super spy dust! <laughs> Girls! The balcony! We can bungee our way out of here! Okay! That was definitely not in the film! Ah! No worries! The Icy Fresh Liquid Nitrogen Breath Spray ought to cool things off! Way weird. I know! It was like Brad completely lost his romantic leading guy mojo. Yeah, Brad was acting a little strange. More than a little. He had no idea how to do his signature move, the one he's famous for. And he couldn't remember how he got all that dried up mud on his sneakers. Or went missing in the first place. I'll send you the mud sample to see if it holds any clues and let him know that Rad's returned to his mansion. Hmm. As much as I hate to leave Bel Air, we have to get back to school. Right behind you, Clover. Ugh. Let me guess. You're about to show the world that you practically invented melodrama? What evs? Luckily, I managed to convince the talent scout to give me another shot. No thanks to that awful porker of yours. Speaking of Winky, have you seen him around? No. And make sure you keep that hog out of my way. <laughs> I'm looking for a serious actress with serious acting chops. Serious? You got it. Oh. <gasps> <clears throat> Haven't you heard the awful news? They hated my designs. I didn't get into fashion school. Now I'll never realize my dream of becoming a world-renowned designer. <clears throat> I've seen enough. Good day. <laughs> Your stupid lame pig is ruining everything! <laughs> yep. Totally melodramatic. Huh? Hello, girls. Don't tell me you had the results of the mud analysis already. Unfortunately, I'm calling with a slightly more pressing matter. International singing sensation Jason Weebler has just been reported missing. Oh, no! Jason Weebler. Oh, I just love his hit single, Sweetie, 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 oh! That's not all. There was a third abduction attempt on Spanish soccer star Alessandro. <gasps> Alessandro is my majorly hot jock crush! No one can strike it like Sandro! Yes, well, you girls are to head to Spain immediately in case another abduction attempt is made. You got it, Jir. When do we leave? No time like the present. <laughs> Uh, first things first, we'll need to blend. Uh, looks like he's got some high-tech help. Huh? No! My lucky ball! <gasps> Sandro's moves definitely defy gravity! We've got to help him! Grab those balls! <laughs> Put me down! <laughs> help! Help! What is it, Sammy? You look like you've seen a ghost. Hmm. Sort of. There was a CH logo on the Zeppelin's tail rudder. It seems so familiar. So why can't I place it? We've got bad news 
last year, the villain just made off with Alessandro. Oh, dear. Any update on that mud? It's mud from the Hollywood Hills. You're to head back there and see if you can unearth any more clues. That never gets old, Chair. If we wanted some dirt on Rad, we'd have better luck watching Access Bel Air. Wait! I think I've got something! Over here! Hmm? Hmm. Those footprints definitely belong to Rad Smith. Okay, how could you possibly know that, Clover? While we were hiding in Rad's closet, I checked out his shoes. Ovs. Hmm. He had six pairs of identical sneaks just like the pair he was wearing. Way to sleuth, Clover. But it still doesn't explain why they suddenly disappear. No, but this does. A trap door. Buzzsaw wristwatch, do your thing. Some underground lair. Whoa! <gasps> Not just any lair, it's a way posh underground mansion! <gasps> what is that? Oh no! <gasps> Jason Weebler! Oh. Alessandro! <laughs> uh oh, I think I just figured out what the CH logo on the plane stands for, Sammy! Captain <gasps> Hayes? I wish I could say it was nice to see you nosy little spies again. Unfortunately, I can't, because it isn't. Let me guess. You came down with another nasty case of celebrity worship syndrome. You should really have yourself checked by a doctor. <laughs> nice try. But I got tired of merely hanging around celebs, so I decided to become one myself. Um, don't you have to be, you know, famous to be a celebrity? A mere technicality thanks to my trusty machine that steals talents from the world's greatest stars. <laughs> you stole Rad's signature move! You monster! I've also stolen Rad's acting chops. Soon, I'll have Jason Weebler's singing voice and Alessandro's soccer moves. And that's just the beginning. <laughs> Oh, no! <laughs> uh. <laughs> sweetie, 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 oh, like sweetie, 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 oh, please always be mine. No way! Captain Hayes is a totally talented singer and soccer player now! Not to mention completely irresistible! But there is no way we're falling for it! Glad you enjoyed the show. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time. When my mansion emerges, they will rename this place the Hayes Hills, after me and my many talents. <laughs> what was he talking about when my mansion emerges? Who knows? Most of the villains we deal with are certifiably crazy. Come on, spies. We have a quadruple threat to take down. Singer, actor, sports hero, and total laps. Unfortunately, this cage is made from a carbon compound as strong as diamonds. Luckily, nothing cuts through diamonds like diamond cutter diamond earrings. Uh, uh. <laughs> Great work, Clover! Now let's free Jason Weebler and Alessandro, then put an end to Captain Hayes' bogus fame grab. Right behind you, Sammy. <sighs> Oh, you're even cuter in person. Could I have your autograph? Uh, I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but enough crushing! Hello? There's an international villain down those stairs! <gasps> no, that sounds like an earthquake! Hurry! We've got a rising star to snuff out! <gasps> that definitely explains all the shaking! Not to mention the mystery of the emerging house! Captain Hayes is going to make his celebrity debut along with his mansion! We have to stop him before he demolishes the world-famous Hollywood Hills! Unfortunately, you're much too late for that. <laughs> Watch out! Didn't you know 
that Rad played a world-famous circus performer in one of his many flicks? Yes, I totally knew that. I just thought it was special effects. Consider yourselves lucky. You've got front row seats for the debut of the soon-to-be iconic Captain Hayes. Mm. This show stinks. Yeah, I demand a refund. <laughs> into my pocket and grab the lipstick laser? I think so. No! Got it! Great save, Clover. Time to immobilize this would-be idol. Sweet is sweet is sweet is oh, please always be mine. Oh, back. Way to plunge that loser in a super cold obscurity, Sammy. Hello, girls. Another job well done, Spies. It's hard to get excited with the Hollywood Hills in shambles. Never fear, a whoop disaster cleanup crew is on the way as we speak. What's going to happen to the totally unfab Captain Hayes now? He'll be going to our whoop containment facility where the only thing he'll be famous for is being a criminal. Don't forget to restore Alessandro to his former glory. His team's in the semi-finals next week. Yes, yes. We'll also restore Jason Weebler's singing voice and Rad Smith's questionable acting ability. Wouldn't want to deprive the world of love in a space station. Speaking of which, think you can get us front row ticks to his big movie premiere next week? Jer? <sighs> Jer? Mm, oh, I'm sure he'll get right on it. This is your last, last chance, Mandy. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. <laughs> Cue the music! I've seen enough! <laughs> you mean you've heard enough, right? Who is the owner of that precocious pig? He has perfect timing. I want to sign him immediately. His name's Oinky. Oinky's going to be bigger than Jason Weebler. Welcome to Sirius Bank. State your business. Well, you can start by accepting this gift. <laughs> Baked it myself, dearie. <laughs> uh, well, if you insist. Mm. <gasps> now be a peach and give me all the bank's money. Yes, ma'am. Excuse me while I fetch you the contents of our vault. Luxurious. Toads! The brand new Mally U Spa Gym is the bomb! It's 
so is the clientele. I've never seen so many hotties in my life. <laughs> All right, losers. It's time to quit jogging and take a hike. As in, this is my workout time. Isn't that right, Trent? That's what you keep telling me, Mandy. <laughs> Do what you say. Yeah. The spa gym works on a first come, first served basis. So if you want to use the treadmill, you and your glutes will just have to wait your turn. What? Wait? Ha! As if. If you girls won't pick up the pace, then I'll just have to do it for you. <laughs> Sammy, because that is so never gonna happen. Hey, check it out. The mud bath has a jet function. It's way too whoopy. Right, Sam? Ah! 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 Oh no, that will never do. Ah! Cool. Thanks, Jerry. Cha, sweet blowout. You're quite welcome, girls. However, I'm afraid what I have to show you now isn't so sweet. Here you go, ma'am. This is everything we have. What's the problem, Jer? Looks like a bank doing regular bank business to me. It may look that way, Sam, but what you're actually seeing is footage of a robbery in Geneva. And other heists exactly like it have just taken place in London and Vienna. Is it just me, or are these the most pleasant bank robberies ever? Yeah, where's all the usual bad guy angstiness? Whoop isn't certain. All we know is that whatever's going on is most peculiar, and that these crimes seem to have been perpetrated by the same criminal. Huh? Oh. Huh? Another bank is currently being depleted of its funds in Paris. You're to check it out immediately. And as luck would have it, we're right nearby. Huh? <laughs> Sorry, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Now, off you go. <laughs> Wait! What about some gadgets to help us get to the bottom of all this? Oh, dear. You're right. Ta-ta, spies! <laughs> Now, where did those gadgets go? Oh, how cute! Now, where were we? Ah, yes, your gear. Inside this box, you'll find the razor space bangle, the hair pick lock pick, a bolo wrapper belt, and three run for cover hoverboards. Thanks, Jerry. My pleasure. Now, prepare for landing. Uh oh, we're coming in fast. We need to slow things down! <laughs> Talk about close calls! We almost ended up permanently part of the Paris pavement! Okay, so how do we get to the ground floor where the bank is? Hmm. Simple. We're gonna use a little combo gadget action. Follow me, ladies. And how can I help you girls today? Where's the thief? Aren't you being robbed right now? <laughs> what gives you that idea? Maybe the fact that your vault is wide open and all of the contents are missing? Yep, this vault has been picked cleaner than the fashion shoe shack after a holiday clearance sale. Hmm. And what's with all the crumbs? It smells like cake. Definitely weird. We should have the crumbs analyzed. No problem. I don't mean analyze them that way, Alex. Mm -hmm. Hear that? Maybe it's our thief. Come on, spies. That's the getaway vehicle making all that noise? Uh. Uh. Thanks for dropping in. Have a pleasant day. It's no ordinary 
Scooter. <gasps> that sweet ride looks like it could break the land speed record. We need some hover power fast. <laughs> Gaining on him! <laughs> this guy is good! But we're better! Let's make our move, girls! to a pile of toothpicks. Just be thankful you weren't reduced to a pile of toothpicks, Alex. Hmm? All of that, and we're still no closer to figuring out what's going on with these bank robberies. Guess we have no choice but to go back to Mally U and wait for Jerry's crumb analysis. Even though our workout was so rudely interrupted by Mandy earlier, at least we got some exercise in by chasing that baddie. That was a major workout. I am exhausted. What better way to recharge than with a trip to the Malibu Beach for some afternoon sunbathing? today. Let's pull. Hey, girls! What's the haps? Uh, whatever, Mandy. Like, you actually care about what's up with us. Come on. Let's head back to the gym. Wait! Don't go! You can have my spot! And my umbrella, and my picnic basket. I mean, you know, after the whole treadmill set, it's the least I could do. And don't worry about my stuff. Uh, you can just return it to me whatever. Now have fun! How about I drive to rent? She must be out so tired from fanning me. Uh, okay, Mandy. Whatever you say. Is it me, or did Mandy have some kind of personality transplant while we were gone? You are right, Clover. She was acting way weird. Ugh. Ew, Mandy. Ugh. Messy much. This blanket is all crummy. Hmm. Looks kind of yummy to me. Alex, you can't eat those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chowing down on random food particles is majorly gross. Plus, those crumbs are nearly identical to the ones we found earlier. They could be <gasps> a clue. <laughs> Hello, ladies. I have some information for you. Upon analyzing the crumbs you sent earlier, I've determined that they contain a most unusual ingredient, a mood-altering substance that makes the eater ultra-agreeable and extremely compliant. Wow! Sounds delightful! It isn't delightful, Alex. It's why the bank people were so freakishly nice. And why Mandy was acting so unmandy like But where did the crumbs come from? Something tells me we're about to find out. Super Sweet Cupcake Company. Never heard of it. Let's see if the Whoop mainframe has any intel on the matter. Aha! It appears that a cupcake boutique by that very name just popped up in Beverly Hills. Guess our beach bonanza will have to wait. Back to the mission we go. Oh, check it 
out. These cupcakes are all a rage. Hey, girls. So great to see you again. Would you like one of my cupcakes so you don't have to wait in this long line? Uh, no thanks, Mandy. We'll catch you later. Awesome! I'll call you! <laughs> okay, this is truly bizarre. Since when is Mandy so considerate or so car crazy? Beats me. All I know is that for being new on the scene, these cupcakes are selling like hotcakes. Come on, let's go in for a closer look. This is amazing! Big time! This is more cupcakes than I've ever seen in my life! Oh, it's so unfair. How am I supposed to concentrate on spying when all I can think about is eating? By reminding yourself that these snacks are the work of someone seriously sinister. Uh, speaking of sinister, does that kooky ride look familiar? No way! It's the same scooter from earlier! Which means that if there was any question the bank robberies and the cupcakes were connected, there definitely isn't now. So all that's left to do is figure out who's behind it all. We all know what the Whoop Handbook says about locked doors. Um, actually, Sammy, I never read the handbook. Uh, me neither. I was kind of waiting for the movie version to come out. <sighs> it says that a locked door is a spy's worst enemy. Well, in that case, we should knock it down. Easy, Alex. I have a better way. Hair pick, lock pick, show them what you're made of. Things for sure. Blinking red lights over a map of the world are never a good sign. Uh, girls? Is it me or does that knitting gear look way familiar? <gasps> no way! It can't be! <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my dearies! The, the granny? In the flesh! You were locked in the geriatric branch of the Whoop Containment Facility living out your golden years. Well, I was, but I decided to liberate myself by sweet-talking my way past one of the Whoop guards. <laughs> you see, I honed my cooking skills in the prison kitchen and came up with the recipe for super sweet cupcakes. <laughs> recipe that makes everyone super sweet so you can take advantage of them. Still smart as a whip, aren't you, Samantha? And now my creation is about to go global. So what is your cupcake master plan anyway? To give everyone in the world a taste of my confections, Clover. And once everyone's tried them, they'll be powerless to stop me from looting every bank on Earth. Then I can get the old gang back together and we can live out our best years on our own private island and warm our old bones, playing shuffleboard and knitting scarves. Wow, Granny. For someone so adorable, you sure are evil. And you sure are cute. You always were my favorite, Alex. <laughs> Too bad you leave me no choice but to eliminate you and your little friends. Hey! <laughs> So delightful to see you again. <laughs> oh, my! Oh. Hello? Sorry to bother you, sir, but I was wondering if you've heard from prisoner number 13468B. Why would I hear from her? Isn't she in the containment facility? Well, she asked me to let her out to go to a bingo game, and I haven't seen her since. Just wondering if she won big. Oh, my! <laughs> Baked inside a cupcake. I can't believe this is the way it's going to end. And 
I can't believe we've invested by someone four times our age! I may not be a spring chicken, girls, but I'm as sharp as a tack. Uh-oh! We gotta do something, like now! Uh, uh. Hey! Maybe the bolo wrapper belt can help us out! Days are over, Granny. You're headed back to Whoop. Sounds lovely. I've grown quite fond of the containment facility. Now there's one baddie I'm not sad to see go. She can be so manipulative, just like her cupcakes. <gasps> Luckily, the effects of the Granny's cupcake should wear off soon. I'm just bummed I never got to try one of them. They look so delicious and sweet. Don't worry, Alex. You're sweet enough already. Hmm. <laughs> I never see another cupcake as long as I live. I agree. Why do baddies have to ruin everything that is good and pure in the world? Look out, losers, or you're gonna become part of the Mandy Super Highway! <laughs> oh, looks like Mandy is back to her old mean self again. That didn't take long. Yeah, cupcakes! Don't mind if I do. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm glad to see the old Mandy back. Having a nice Mandy around was just too freaky. <laughs> <laughs>
left of your strength, the heart belongs to me! You vain, misguided fool! You've always been heartless, and you'll always be heartless. <laughs> it's magnificent. I give that robot some real headshots. No, Clover, it's the Crim Cram catcher Jerry gave us. It snaps up and contains criminals in a flash. It's still going through testing, so here goes nothing. <laughs> I still can't believe Jerry's Crim Cam catcher worked. I can't believe I'm still standing. Time to catch some major Z's. Uh, hey, or try this. We can catch a movie. The Dusk of Dawn is playing a late show. That wizard fantasy love story? Alex, you've seen that cheesy movie like 10 times. Nah, -uh. I've seen it like 12 times. The first six times I saw it, I was so on Team Durlock. But the last six times, I was totally Team Justin. Lucky 13's gonna decide what team I'm on for good. Oh, sorry, Alex, but I'm on team too tired to move. The only way we're going is if you carry us there. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Sammy, Clover, if you're not here in two seconds, I'm sitting without you. One. Sorry, Alex, just getting some popcorn. I was lagging behind on purpose. <laughs> Ew! That seat looks like someone's been living in it. I am that someone! I've sat there so many times, the headrest and armrest have perfectly molded to my body! My wizardly kingdom shall not be complete without the eternal flaming heart for which I've searched my entire life. Wishful thinking, Cheston. When I find it, I will become the eternal ruler of the universe. <laughs> In your dreams, Durlock. You'll be in my dreams. I've decided I'm officially on Team Cheston. Hot enough for you? Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Usher's here and he looks kind of mad. And kind of cute. <laughs> Whatever. Isn't he dreamy? He's so poised and so above authority. He's a total tough hottie. Hottie alert? Where? There. How do I get that bad boy to ask out a good girl like me? We're playing hard to get. And if we leave right now, you'll be totally impossible to get. <laughs> We're out. Clover! No, 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 that way, Clover! Really is a bad boy. Sure, it's not just bad aim. Finally, it's time to go to. <laughs> Sorry to disturb your slumber, but there's something even more disturbing going on in Hollywood. Stores are being looted as we speak, and you must find those responsible. Now, if you'll peer inside your jetpack backpacks. 
you'll find a hands-off handbag that, when unzipped, becomes a super-strong fireproof protective shield. The bag also contains an expandable mini makeup mirror. But you'll also find a mini carbon dating machine able to detect the precise age of even the most ancient of artifacts. Huh? Hmm? Oh, I think it's broken. You're an ancient artifact and it's so not telling me your age. <laughs> hmm. is ruthless and tasteless. Well, let's get out of this smoke and back to our dorms to analyze this cloak. <sighs> and to finally get some sleep. mistake. Just wondering what you discovered last night before dozing off. Not much, Jer. Except this ratty old cloak. We can use the mini dating machine to find out exactly how old it is. This cloak was made in the 13th century in 1246 in March on a Tuesday at 4.37 p.m. I'm impressed. Not as impressed as the usher's gonna be when he sees me. How do I look? Mm -hmm. Well, I know you're trying to look all bad, but you just look kind of bad. Just the look I was going for. A bad girl for a bad boy. Oh, I forgot to do my homework. I better get on it. Uh, Sam, you may look the punky part, but you're not acting it. Okay, then I won't do my homework. In black ink like I'm supposed to. I'm gonna be a rebel and use green. Sammy, if you're trying to act bad, then mission accomplished. That was some of the worst acting I've seen since the dusk of dawn. <gasps> That's it! Hmm? That's where I saw that cloak before. Chester was wearing one just like it in the movie. See? So then, do you think there's a wizard on the loose making movie cloaks appear in real life? If there is, you may wish to use the crim cam to capture it. Great idea! Except I don't have it. Uh, uh, uh. I must have dropped it at the movie theater. Oh, dear. Are you sure? Not at huh? all, but at least I can see the movie again. Yay! And I can see my Usher bad boy again. Yay! And I can take a nap again. Yawn. Okay, let's split up. You guys look for the crim cam. Huh? I'll go talk to my soon-to-be new boyfriend. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Wow! Someone or something seriously ripped the screen to shreds. Oh no! Now I won't be able to see the movie again. And I won't be able to see my usher. <gasps> <gasps> Did I say my usher? I meant everyone's usher. So, could I come here often? Get it? Because, you know, you work here, so you must be here often. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Man, he is way cool. Kind of cold. I did my best flirting and he didn't flirt back. Can you believe that? That was your best flirting? You might want to work on that. I'll give you some pointers later. Guys, mm -hmm. I have a hunch that our buggy on the Fritz Krim cam may have pulled Chesson and Durlock from the screen. Huh? There's muddy footprints coming from there. The screen is ripped to shreds. We found a cloak from the 13th century, the same century the movie takes place. It's all so clear. Yeah. 
I think you're getting way ahead of yourself, Alex. <laughs> yeah, the only thing that's clear is that you've seen this movie way too many times. And it's a good thing I have. That missing heart pendant sounds like the one that Chester and Durlock were looking for. Remember the eternal <laughs> heart of Grentoid? Uh, must have slept through that part. Well, you better wake up. We've got trouble and it's close by. Let's go. I was just gonna say goodbye. Oh. Look at that. In what strange <laughs> realm have I landed, huh? Perhaps this magical horseless chariot will carry me to the eternal heart. Oh, this chariot is possessed by spirits. Very angry spirits. Hey, buddy, get away from my car. Whoa, that's right, Cheston. Run away like the coward that you are. <gasps> By the goblin's breath. A fair maiden carrying a canine in a satchel. What kind of place is this? <sighs> I must protect myself with the eternal flaming heart of Grentoid. <sighs> Why is the heart not flaming? What is wrong? Huh. Apparently what you found was a fake. If it weren't, then you would be impervious to the pain you are about to receive. was planted by Cheston! How dare you accuse someone as sweet and soulful and sensitive with such sweet and soulful and sensitive hair as Cheston! Now let me at him! Ugh. Where did he go? To find the real Eternal Heart. Now I must find him before he does. I'll come with you! <laughs> your bravery is almost as impressive as your beauty. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm... I know exactly who you are! You were born on July 28th, 1222. Your favorite philosopher is Albertus Magnus. Your favorite food is mutton. You like long walks and short jousts. And your mortal enemy, Durlock, just disappeared into thin air! Pretty scary, huh? She's seen your movie 13 times. I'm sure she'll be the first one in line to buy the DVD. What's a... Mm. movie? And DVD? Oh, yeah. We should probably catch you up with what's new in the world for the last 800 years. I'll send you a text with some info. What's your cell? What language are you speaking? The language of <laughs> love. Huh? Stop that, Clover! You're gonna freak Cheston out! I'll be fine. It's Durlock we should be concerned with. To find the eternal heart of Grentoid, Durlock will turn this world into ruins! <laughs> How will we ever find Durlock in this fanciful kingdom? Perhaps those maps can lead us to him. Oh no, those are just maps to the stars. Maps to the stars? So you can travel beyond the sky? <laughs> no, not those kinds of stars. Movie stars, like you, see? Huh? Uh. Uh. You're wasting what is left of your strength. The heart belongs to me! You vain, misguided fool. Is that... Me? Yeah, but you're way cuter in real life. Uh, mm. um, that's not really you. That's just from your movie, and Durlock's not really there on that screen. Huh? <gasps> it's happening already. We must find Durlock now. <sighs> ah, then you can let go of me. No thanks, I'm good. Behold! <gasps> <laughs> The eternal flaming heart of Grentoid! I would rather sacrifice the heart than let you use it for evil. <laughs> La 
Luckily for you, it would seem that this is another fake. But before I resume my quest, I will destroy you! <laughs> Bulletex Azertard! such different worlds. Perhaps your behavior can be explained by whatever spell you're under. I am under a spell, a love spell, and we may not be from the same world, but you totally rock mine. Ouch! Cheesiest line ever. I know! I should totally use it on my Ush Crush bad boy Punk Hung! <gasps> you... you know me so well. I'll explain everything, just free us! <laughs> Justin! <laughs> May you be free to live, and to love. Whoa! Whoa! Thanks! <laughs> you will get the girl back when I find the true eternal flaming heart of Grentoid! We must save her! You think? And I think I have a plan to get rid of Durlock. Huh? Hmm. <gasps> Alex, you know how you knew Cheston's strengths? Well, do you also know Durlock's weaknesses? Hmm. <gasps> Wait! I remember! His weakness is his own vanity! He loves to gaze at his own beauty! We just need to get a mirror to distract him and we can take him out! You're... you're a witch! Uh, uh. <laughs> 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 huh? Who is that handsome devil? Yo, Chester! I'm hideous. No argument here. Ah! Whoa! <sighs> I don't know what kind of wizardry you use to capture Durlock, but you've also captured my heart. Oh, that's very sweet, Cheston. But let's face it, we are from two different worlds. Mine's real, yours, not so much. about to start. <laughs> Sorry, I just can't believe Justin gave me the shirt off his back. My shirt has been stolen by the same lovely creature who stole my heart. Oh wow, the movie just gets better each time I see it. Uh, just wake me when it's over. 
Looking cool. Thanks. I meant me, but you look pretty good too. Maybe we can go out sometime. I'll give you a ride on my motor. Mouse! Ah! Oh, hmm. wow. Guess you're not such a bad boy after all. Whoa!